My father was a farmer, my mother was a housekeeper, and we farmed grapes, prunes, and walnuts, and also some cereal grains. So it was a different uh, period of time. My dad, on the side, always made home wine. He uh, kind of garnered the attention of the neighbors, and Charlie's wine uh, was known to be one of the best wines around. So by the time I got out of high school in 1969, uh, just shortly thereafter, I was given an offer by my mother and father to join them in the business of wine. We ban began very small. 1972 is our first vintage. We ended up making about 250 cases of Cabernet Sauvignon. It seems like he sold every last bottle for $4.50 a bottle uh, to anyone who would come by. So my father was never afraid to take chances. Uh, you know, he was after making quality wines. And so those sorts of things, I think, are values uh, that I try to instill in my current life with my own children. So we'll stick with vineyard practices that work for us, but we're always continuing to try new practices that might be more efficient, might work better for us. So we're constantly experimenting, especially on the vineyard side of things. So of course every winemaker has their own style and they have in mind something they want to create, but there really is no textbook that tells you how to make wine. A lot of what we do is through experimentation, pushing the limits here and there, trying something new, and I think that's really what keeps the, the wine industry on its toes. That's really what makes it a lot of fun. In 1973, our Cabernet vines had set a large crop. We went out and, and pruned off half the crop, throwing it to the ground. And with that, we, had, we made an extraordinary wine in 1973, Canis was, was maybe the hallmark vintage uh, for our first 10 years. Regulating our crop to produce higher qualities, we saw that uh, in the 1973 vintage. So we repeated that time and time. began to see some great wines being produced from other parts of California. Uh, the truth is we couldn't grow great Chardonnay in Napa Valley, so we drove three hours south to Monterey County, which is closer to the Pacific Ocean, to grow Chardonnay. On a day when it's 92 degrees in Rutherford, it's 78 degrees in the vineyards in Monterey County. Quite different, quite cool. And what that means is early ripening varieties such as Chardonnay and Pinot Noir excel in those cool regions. What makes the state so special is that within a four hour drive, you could have world-class Cabernet, neighboring world-class Chardonnay and Pinot. So I think that Chardonnays from Monterey County are amongst the best produced in the state of California. More recently, we've been down in Argentina, uh, in the region of Mendoza, and in the Barossa Valley of Australia, where we've actually grown and picked grapes and frozen them in the field, shipped them to California, and fermented them here. This is just one of the examples of the fun that we get to have in the wine industry. And we're never, never just set with what we have. We always are looking for the, the next fun project. retains an interest for me because of th that change every year Mother Nature brings to us. Whether it's drought, whether it's warmth, cool year, difficult years, easy years, when the grapes are harvested and brought to the winery, how do you deal with them? What do we do now? And it's always different. So the wines are never the same. And while we try to make wines exactly the same every year, it's impossible. Mother Nature does not allow for that. Every year, Mother Nature provides us with different challenges. That really is a fun part of the job. Every year is different. Um, certain years, a, a, a vineyard site might be performing really well. Other years, you really need to get creative, um, use your intuition to try to think of, of a way to, to make that quality fruit from a difficult year. Well, while Napa Valley's been around for, for a long time, uh, I've seen big changes during my 40 years working here. Uh, Little traffic years ago to now, three and a half million visitors a year. Uh, when we started our business, our first vintage of 1972, 
Uh, we had about 15 competing wineries at the time. First thing you know, we were off to a competitive role in producing wines within Napa Valley, trying to keep up with the rest, or in some cases, staying ahead of the rest. So that was a lot of fun for my dad and I. We both enjoyed that very much, the competitive nature. We, we loved it, and we, and we worked together for 30 years with that same attitude. I'm very lucky and fortunate to have my kids follow me in the business.